If you're trying for a hole-in-one this weekend, you would also be helping a good cause. It's all part of Patriot Golf Day, and joining us live is Desert Storm veteran Jim Shibley, along with Hector Sepulveda. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you? And definitely get your husband to come out this weekend. <laughs> I'm going to tell him. I'm sure he's listening right now. But, Jim, why don't you tell us what the um, Patriot Golfing is all about? Uh, certainly. Uh, the Patriot Golf Day is a nationwide event that's being held at uh, participating golf courses that's put on by the Folds of Honor Foundation uh, that uses Patriot Golf Day to raise scholarship funds for the spouses and children of veterans that have either been killed or disabled in action, specifically in Iraq and Afghanistan. So basically by just playing at different golf courses, we can help this uh, situation out, right? Right. We've actually got, uh, we now have 17 local area golf courses that are participating in this uh, weekend's event. Uh, when we first started, we actually only, there were only two there, and I had contacted the, the organization and told them that I thought we could do much better than that here in the local area, knowing Wisconsin people are very supportive of their veterans. And uh, we've got now 17 courses throughout the area that are signed up, including the one here that we're actually uh, filming from at Highland Ridge in De Pere. And uh, we're looking for a, a great turnout uh, for everybody to come out and, and support the Patriots. Um, matter of fact, we've got, uh, I'll let Hector speak a little bit about his story, but his family would directly benefit from people coming out and participating in this weekend's event. Well, Hector, uh, we'll let you talk now about your story in case people didn't hear it last time. Uh, where, when and where did you serve and how were you injured? I served in Afghanistan in 2003. 2004 and then I said three more tours in to Kuwait in 2005 2007 and 2008 that's when I get injury in 2008 and my last two and how will your family benefit from the scholarships well my daughter she is studying at the ITT college uh, studying uh, business administration so that may help her to pay for her for, for her school so that's a great thing to do. And one thing I know we learned last time, Jim, is that Hector is one, uh, his family is one family that's benefiting, but you're actually looking for more? Uh, that's correct. The uh, Folds of Honor Foundation <laughs> is looking for additional people uh, that would benefit from, their, from the proceeds uh, from this weekend's event. Um, in, in, in addition to that, if, uh, if, if people do know of anybody that uh, may, might be eligible, the Folds of Honor Foundation essentially fills a, the gap that's left by uh, funding that's not available through state programs. Uh, they don't have any disability restrictions as, as, in terms of the veterans' uh, limited disability, and uh, they also don't have an age limit. So it's for spouses or children of any age that um, have had a, a, a spouse, that is a veteran that was killed in action in Iraq or Afghanistan are eligible to apply for funding. Well, and Jim, before we let you uh, go, we do want to mention that you're a veteran of uh, Desert Storm uh, and you're a veteran helping veterans, so great job. Yeah, uh, actually, I, I was an F-16 guy. I flew 35 missions during Desert Storm, and uh, when I first heard of the event, I decided that I needed to participate and uh, be a wingman of the founder, Major Dan Rooney, who's also an F-16 pilot with the Oklahoma Air National Guard. And, uh, and I would like to also point out that today is actually Hector's birthday. He Happy didn't birthday, that Hector! To us. Oh, thank you. But uh, in, and on behalf of uh, Applebee's, I have a couple of gift certificates that I'd like to present to Hector to take his his self and his family out to dinner, and wish him a happy birthday and, and a hefty thank you from all of us, future veterans and non-veterans alike, for doing what he's done in uh, defense of our country and protecting our freedoms. Absolutely. We are Hector. Right. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank, thank you, you, Hector. Thank you, Jim. Yep, thank, thank you, you for Thank you, Pete, and thanks for, uh, thanks. I'd like to also thank uh, Fox 11 for coming out and helping us get the word out, um, and also to any of the, all the participating golf courses that will be uh, present, will be participating in this weekend's event. I'd like to give myself, and on behalf of the foundation, our thank you for coming out and supporting us this weekend. We'll put that, all that information on our website so people know exactly where they should be golfing this weekend. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks, gentlemen, for your service and for your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.